Okie dokie, in this video, I'm going to be creating a um, table of contents component with smooth scroll using Gatsby MDX. So like you see here, we can just navigate between these anchor points um, on a page. It's going to be creating this sort of this component here um, with this um, default starter um, I made previously. Um, and then just, just implementing this, this here. So um, first up, we're gonna need to um, create a new um, new project. I'm gonna do that with um, the Gatsby CLI using MPX. And I'm gonna create a new project, um, and this is gonna be Gatsby TOC example, and I'm gonna be using the, um, the template, which is the Gatsby style, style components um, I've made previously. Um, so I'm going to wait for that to install, uh, shouldn't take long, and um, I'm also going to need some other dependencies, so I'm going to need um, MDX, uh, Gatsby plugin MDX, and um, MDX with MDX React, so there's the, um, the MDX JS um, uh, dependency, and mdxjs at forward slash react the need. Okie dokie. So I can now um, cd into this folder here. So I'm just going to say TOC. Week. <clears throat> I'm using fish shell, so it's got quite a good auto completion on it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I could just spin this up straight away, but I'm going to want to um, add some other things. So I'm using yarn. Um, you can use uh, MP you can use npm if you like. Um, so I want to use Gatsby um, Gatsby plugin MDX. So get the plugin MDX, um, and we want at MDX js or slash MDX and at MDX js react. React, React, React. So we'll get those installed. Um, and then we'll start configuring some stuff. So, um, didn't take too long. Okay, let's open up our text editor. Cool, 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 cool. So um, we've got our changes in here for MDX and Gatsby plugin MDX. Um, so I'm going to want to display, um, some text with some headers in it, which we can navigate between. So to do that, I'm going to need to create, um, somewhere for the, the markdown files to live. So let's just, um, let's just paste this in here. I'm going to make a directory. I'm going to call it, um, posts and the, um, table of context example, table of contents example um, and I'm going to create an index file in there so let's go to here and um, let's be TSC example so I've made a directory TSC example should be showing up here but it's not What's going on let's try refreshing this reload reload this window Oh, there it is, posts. Okay, cool. Um, so in here, I'm going to need some markdown content. So I'm going to um, take that content from um, the very blog post I made it with. So let's just paste this in here. This is the raw uh, MDX content from GitHub. Just going to select all this, copy it, and then paste it in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. All I really need here is the, the date and title. 
save that. Okay, so now I've got my um, my MDX, and I need a way to display it. So I'm going to be using that with um, Gatsby plugin MDX. I'm going to need to configure that in Gatsby config. So let's just um, let's just rearrange these config options. Um, I've just moved that there because I like the the one liners to be all in one place. Um, I'm going to need to have Gatsby for source file system um, for posts. So let's just um, let's copy that, and then I've got a copy here for Gatsby plugin MDX. It's going to be all extensions, both MDX and MD. Um, and like I said, the posts or Gatsby source file system. So if I hit save on that, um, and then spin up the, the dev server, which I haven't done yet, let's just say, um, you on develop. You could use, I've already said, MPX, uh, sorry, NPM run develop. Um, I prefer yarn. Um, okay, so that will um, close this. Don't need this anymore. Okay. Localhost and the default will be 8000. Go back to the terminal. Okay, so that's done. Got our starter here. Um, I'd like to know that um, MDX is up and running. Okay, so I'm going to use all MDX, it's already here. Um, or the excerpt, excerpt is just um, like the first 200 characters from, from the post. So that is working okay. So the um, graphical explorer here is you can pick out all the information you want here. So I've got all MDX. Um, and what was it I wanted? Edges, nodes, that nodes here, nodes. And then excerpt was here. There you go. Run that. Get my excerpt. So cool. I am happy that um, our MDX is up and running. So now um, I want to have a way to create the file path to to um, this file here. So we're going to do that in Gatsby node. Let's get rid of this. Um, I'm going to use um, the Gatsby source file system and some of the um, Gatsby node APIs uh, in particular on create node and we're going to use um, create node field so I'm just going to this in here um, hit save so this is um, getting any internal type where it's MDX and then it's going to make a file path for that and it's going to name that file path slug and it's going to pass in the node and value to that. So because I've made a change to um, the SP node here, I'm going to have to stop and start the dev server. So just a control C there and just uh, arrowed up and did the same command again. So that's, um, looks like that's finished running. Oh, it's in progress. Wait for this to say success. There we go. So I should be able to go to um, the Graphical Explorer again here. Um, and then in here, we should be able to pick out fields. Um, sorry, I need to refresh this page. Um, and then fields in here, sorry, nodes, fields, there we go. And then slug. Um, we've got this TOC example, which is what um, I've got as the folder here. And then it's just put into the index. So, cool, cool, cool. Um, we've got those created for um, each. This is for um, when you're adding, you know, many, many. Um, uh, posts in here, many, many uh, M uh, MDX files. You've got your big list. So um, this will be your way for uh, navigating from, say, your index page to uh, the individual sort of uh, pages we're going to create here. We've not done that yet. Um, so we want to create the pages with 
gsp node again but before we do that um i want to create a uh, a template for the um uh for, for, for the mdx content to live so on here um, again i'm just going to make a directory for the templates that's where the um uh, the, the file structure for gatsby have um certain specific ones you have templates and um, pages and source of um uh, templates is where you have uh, repeatable content in basically so i'm going to use um a going to make a directory i don't know what's happened here on my terminal make a directory for templates i'm going to create a file in source templates and call it post template js let's hope i haven't broken anything here let's take a look in source here we go templates post template js and then in here for now um just going to have a uh, a react template just to say hello hello template um so for each template that's created here um so for each um file we have in posts here um each index file folder we're going to create a a page for that but just for validating that this is working i'm going to be um just returning this hello template so now i'm going to need to create um the um the pages i'm going to do that with the the gatsby node create pages api so um i've, got, I've been through this in the um the the blog post i made called um build a coding blog from scratch with gatsby and mdx there's um there's a fair bit of detail on here for um making an index page why is that not loading um so where are we make an index page uh in here so index page post query plugs and paths um link paths uh adding a blog post template and build out a blog post template so i'm just going to put those in the video description um if you want to read those um but for now I'm just going to go and do some copy pasta into the um, Gatsby node here. I'll walk you through it quickly. So uh, they've got the create pages um, Gatsby in Gatsby node, where we're going to do a query on the fields for each one of the posts in um, the uh, each one of the folders directories in this post directory um, so each one that's in there we're doing a loop and we're doing a for each in there and creating a page for each node um, and with the path it's going to be the slug um, and that gets passed into the page as context and then in the page post template that's where the context is going to be received um, and it can work with that in GraphQL from there. So if I just save this and go to the terminal and say yarn develop and then um, use Gatsby Graphical Explorer again to um, confirm that the, um, the path and the page has been made. I've got success here go over to where we are on the graphical explorer hit refresh so they should have uh, the fields and slugs in here um, but i should also be able to um, select the page so if i just do a 404.js here this will bring up the built-in let's be um, that's before a four page which lists all of your pages in here so you can see i've got the tab table of context example table of contents example and then we've got the hello template we put in there earlier cool so um confirmed that the um the page exists with a 404 
So I'm now going to build out the um, the, the post template to use uh, MDX renderer. So 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 in our post template here, um, like I said earlier, um, we've got the um, the uh, the the context being passed to this template to use the slug. Um, and we're going to use that slug in a um, an MDX query. So let's just paste this in here. And the um, the MDX query is um, post by slug. So let me just um, go to the graphical explorer here. Um, let's just take this query, copy that, and uh, put it in here. So it's using this slug here. See if it, I've already got it down here. I haven't. Um, so this variable. If I do a control space here, it's expecting this slug here to be passed in. And I know that the slug, my previous query is going to be this. So if I just put this into here like this and hit enter, um, I'll get the full post information. So there's a lot in there with the, uh, the body. Let's just head it out. Um, Oh, it's okay, the wrong thing. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm getting uh, an excerpt, which I did in uh, previous queries. Got the front matter, the title, um, and uh, the excerpt. And then this table of contents, what I'm going to be using later for, for navigating through the post. Um, and I've also got this time to read and the actual field. Cool. So Go back to right there, where it was in the code. So with Gatsby, it's using this query here um, at runtime to bring in the data here. So this query is um, the, the result of the result of this query here uh, comes into this page as data, and then um, I can work with that in here. So I'm just going to wrap this in um, the MDX renderer from the Gatsby plugin MDX. Let's hit save. Um, and I think um, I can just I think it's rebuilt it. So I should just be able to go over here. Here we go. So um, there's absolutely no formatting on any of the uh, the headings here. Um, that's because none of the uh, the page elements are going into the the MDX provider and everything was reset with a style reset in this template. So it's it's very much down to the user to um to, to do what they, they want to do <laughs> with um the styling here. So um in uh these components we've got page elements and these are just um uh exports of uh, style component exports the objects going to be used in um, bits throughout the, the project so let's just try and find one place where this is used um, where is it used it'll be on the uh, index page so yeah I'm using these style components here bringing them in from components page elements um, but with uh, MDX, you, um, you you put them in at a high level, which I think I've done already with this root wrapper here. Um, you can pass um, pass in the page elements to replace um, the HTML elements in MDX. So I'm going to be doing that with um, these elements here. So instead of having this as a style component export, I'm going to have it as um, a React component. And the reason for this is to get the uh, the props here. So um, each heading will have things like um, an ID um, and, it, and it will just pass back the, the children. So whatever the content of the H heading is, uh, that's what's going to be come back with it. But this is the important bit here. Um, so we're going to do this for a, a H1. Uh, and I'm also going to do it for H2 as well, um, which I haven't got at the moment. So I'm going to create one. It's going to copy paste that. Um, H2. Um, I'm going to need to export this H2 in here as well. 
Um, and then this H2, I'm going to need to make the heading a bit smaller. So let's just put this at three. Um, and the, the margin, let's put this as six. Um, that should be it for that. Um, and I'm also going to want to do the same sort of thing with um, this paragraph. Well, so let's just paste this in here. So just exporting it as um, a React component. I'm going to use the, um, I need to do it like this. Have this as props. That's what I did, Scott. Let's just do it like we've done it in here. Um, yep. I'm going to do it like. That. Sorry about that. Let's go make this as a P. Okay, return to P. Old P. Cool. Okay. So now we've done that. Um, I can go to my my root wrapper and um, pass in the the page elements. Well, map my um, those components are created onto page elements. So I'll do that with um, the components, which is taken by the MDX provider, which we haven't got in here yet. So let's just do this. Uh, ports. Um, from uh, MDX React. Why am I getting no intelligence on this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that from um, at mdxjs. There it is React. Okay, and then from here we want the MDX provider. Cool, 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 cool. And that's going to pretty much wrap all of this. And it's going to take components, which I'm, I'm working on up here still. Um, and so it has the components prop, and we're going to pass them in as components. Cool. And uh, it's going to wrap that around there. Cool, 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 cool. So in our components object here, we're going to have our H1, which we're going to hit props. And uh, our, uh, pass those to our H1 component. We're going to see if the VS Code is going to auto import. Yay. And then in here, we're going to need to pass, spread in the props. Um, and that, that should be it, really, for that. Yep. So I'm going to do the same for H2 and P. Um, and then put in some, some commas here. So H2, bit H2 component we just made. Not going to let me auto import it randomly. I want the P as well in here. That's H2, it's going to be P. And it's going to be P here. So, passing this uh, components into the MDX provider here, it's going to map. The, the H1s to the H1s, the H2s to the H2s, etc. etc. So it's going to be, um, to say this, um, quite um, a lot of page elements here you'd want to um, take care of. Well, in, in the example I have done here, um, there's going to be um, a fair few and do the spread properly. So it's going to reload and we should have our headings. Element type is invalid, expect a string. Okay, done. Fine. Ah, 
No. This is a H. H2, Scott. Two. Two. Four H2. Copy pasta for the win. There we go. Right. Okay. So we've got our headings in here now. So um, if we take a look at these, um, we notice that we've just got the class, which is wrapping them, and not a great deal of anything else. Um, so that's where um, I need to add in um, Gatsby remark auto link headers um, because we need the IDs navigate to from our table of contents so let's go back to here We've got things like um i think it uses github slugger or or some something to make a slug so slug is just um um like a what is a slug i've always got slugs and paths mixed up i i i take it as it's just like filled in um uh, location to where you want to go without any spaces and it's just lower cased and, and connected like kebab case here um, and it's just like a navigation point on the page um, but at the moment this like configured a project to use MDX that doesn't doesn't exist on here so uh, I mean the heading does but there's no sort of ID for that to navigate to and that's where um, Gatsby plugin so Gatsby remark auto link headers comes in. So it's just let's just install that. So yarn add Gatsby remark auto link headers. And I need to configure that in um, Gatsby MDX. Gatsby config MDX. And it'll go in the uh, the remark plugins here. Let's just hit save on that. Um, being installed. Let's go back to yarn develop again. And then we'll wait for this page to, to reload. So as you can see, this is um, this needs a lot of other styling, but just for the purposes of this sort of video, um, just put it really minimal sort of um, styling on um, on all the elements. Just just really focusing on what we need, um, which is just the H2s in here at the moment. Um, so that is run. Let's hit refresh on here. And check out the um, element here, and you can see I've got I've got an ID now, but I've also got this weird SVG, which is part of the um, uh, SVG mark auto link headers, and this is meant to hide. So let's just um, quickly um, fix that with with some CSS. Um, so let's create a file, let's call it heading link. Yeah, let's, just, let's just split this pane here now. Um, go back to fish shell, paste that in there. So in source components, page elements, heading link, JS, and um, I'm gonna paste in this, uh, this bit of CSS, it's in a uh, template literal, a back tick, and a back tick down here. And then this is just gonna, um, move the, um, the the A the anchor tag over a bit, um, change the margin, um, make it float, and then hide the SVG, and then show the SVG on hover. So we use that in the uh, H2 component here. So if I do uh, dollar curlies and then say auto link, it's gonna let me import it. There we go, auto import. And that's imported from, from here. So if I hit save and quickly switch back to here, that should disappear. Um, and then show it on hover. It is. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so with the initial setup done, now I want to sort of navigate between these parts. So I'm going to do that by making a, a component on. Uh, our post template here. So, all components again. Um, I'm just going to uh, import them here. Or oh, I see Scott. It's a little snippet I've got there, and then more copy paste in here for um, a 
table of contents, uh, which is going to be a styled unordered list. Um, and I'm going to fix this over to the side, um, basically from the top, and then um, using the, um, the, 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 the theme here for the line height on the list items inside it. And uh, I'm also going to have like an inner div so you can scroll the contents on it. So let's just save that for now. I'm not using them yet. Um, and then also on our page here, what is this? The, um, the, this content is quite wide. So I'm just going to quickly inline style um, the, the main layout wrapper here. So this is the, uh, we've got the, the main HTML element. In here, I'm just going to put the max width for 640. Save that and go back to here. That should sort of crop it down a bit. Now I can put the, uh, the table of contents component over here. So if you have um, a post which doesn't have any headings in it, just like a bit of P, P, P copy, um, and um, we want to conditionally render the the table of contents because you're not going to need a table of contents if there's no sort of no headings to step between. So um, do that in um, in our. I mean, it doesn't matter where we put it. Put this anywhere. Let's put it here. Table of contents. Let's go like that. Hit save because. We're going to sort of position this table of contents over at the right. Um, so table of contents is not defined. Table of contents is not defined. Uh, H2 is not defined, and uh, it's not defined either. So, um, which is uh, what you get for copy pasta dev. So I need to get this table of contents here into here. So I'm just going to destructure it. And uh, I'm also going to want um, the H1. I'm going to use from um, style components. Great is so. Can I also import that? Yep. We're going to bring that in from the page elements here. Same for the P. Same with that. Auto import it. Thank you VS Code. And um, table of contents. And now let's hit save. H2 is not defined. Okay, I didn't import it. Cool, cool. Um, we've got a table of contents here. So let's just um, take a look at what I've done. So um, just doing a conditional render of um, table of contents. Let's say if it's, def it's undefined, then we're just going to return nothing. Otherwise, we're going to use a table of contents. And then inside an inner scroll here, we're going to have H2 for like the heading, and then map over the contents of the um, uh, table of contents. Um, and then for each item on there, which I've defined as I, um, we're going to use the, the URL for the key so we don't get any React warnings. And then um, we're passing that URL as a href um, and the key to. Um, where the title is. So like that href um, and title, they are coming from um, our table of contents items here. So we've got the URL and the title. Um, and then we now got our now scroll component between these. So that's it for that really. Um, and the, the, the nice scroll um, is what I tackled in, I didn't tackle it because it's not really that complicated, um, but it was done with um, uh, the, the, the the template I made for this. So this is the Gatsby starter style component starter. Um, and then in here, um, the, I'm not in there, Scott. <laughs> um, where are it's in the thing? Yeah, so it's on the HTML element. So this is done with uh, global style here. Um, you don't have to do it this way if you're doing it with um, uh, an another sort of framework. 
you need to have your um, like your HTML element for the project. You need to have this scroll behavior set to smooth. Um, I haven't worked out how to do this with um, Safari yet, um, but all other sort of modern browsers it works fine with. So um, there you have it. Um, a nice little um, table of contents component and uh, a nice way to, to navigate through it with a table of contents. So I'm just sharing this because it's something I've recently worked out and I thought it's quite a straightforward thing to do. Um, so I thought I'd say share that with you guys. So I hope you, um, so that you guys, y'all, um, I hope you um, enjoyed that. And um, if you did, please remember to uh, like the video. It really helped me out a lot. And uh, if you like more of the same content, then um, please subscribe. So um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye-bye.